Hey everybody, I'm Noelle Randall and on today's episode I'm going to be talking exactly to you to show you how you can start your own Airbnb business without owning any property and get started with just a few thousand dollars, how to do it legally the right way. You know Noelle always telling you the truth. Okay, let's go. Would you like to be a boss? I'm going to show you how. Buy houses using a credit card. So let's talk about wholesaling now. Welcome back. Hi everybody. I'm Noelle Randall, real estate entrepreneur, mentor, and mom of five. And on today's episode, I'm going to be telling you exactly step by step how to start your own Airbnb business by renting apartments or renting people's homes, turning them into an Airbnb business and starting to make profits very quickly where you can make six figures and quit your job. This is a totally new segment. I know there are a few people out there talking to you about this, but of course I'm going to tell you how to do it step by step without skipping anything, without leaving little pieces out. You know, I give you almost all of the information for free right here so that you can just keep watching my channel and I can just keep telling you the truth every single week, week after week, just telling you the truth. Remember to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this content with other people. I'm going to be doing some really amazing stuff. I'm one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube right now and I want to keep the momentum going. So I want to keep sharing you and I'm going to be telling you this 2019, 2020 thing to do with the Airbnb. So here we go. Okay. So step number one, you have to have a business. Okay. You have to have an LLC, a corp, something like that. You must have a business for this to work for you to do this legally. Okay. You can follow the things that I'm telling you to do without having your business established, but it's going to be a problem. I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you the legal way to do this. Okay. So step one, you have to have a business. Okay. So you get your LLC signed up, you know, stay away from certain words because you don't want to be um, considered high risk. So just try to keep your name. It may just be properties. It may say homes, something affordable or solutions or services, something like that. You don't want to say you're an investment, you know, business or a funding business. You don't want to be high risk. So, you know, let's just use the example and keep it kind of vague. And let's just say it's Noel Randall Enterprises. Okay. Let's just all it's going to be. And so Noel Randall Enterprises, you know, she needs to rent an apartment for her employees okay or for her instructors because she does lots of classes okay and in this apartment I rent it in my business's name all right a business cannot actually have an occupant legally so you have to say who the occupant is and you can legally put different occupants in there so now that you've um, marketed the property you know on Airbnb for example or corporate rentals which is what I suggest so you can get bigger bigger money okay corporate rentals pays you even more than Airbnb but most of you guys know Airbnb so I'm gonna just teach you the small stuff and then we'll talk the big money and then you'll see how I became a millionaire and how we do this stuff. Think a little bit bigger, okay? But okay, you get the apartment. So say you get um, one bedrooms and studio bedrooms apart, studio apartment. So in a nice city, say you're paying you know, $1,200 a month. Let's just use a round number, $1,200 a month you get the rent for. So you're gonna need probably about $2,500, $3,000 to get this started, okay? But let's just say, you it's twelve hundred dollars for the rent it costs you you know two thousand dollars or so to furnish it because you need a bed you need um, pots pans dishes you know the great thing about apartments and nice apartments they already come with all of the appliances so you don't necessarily need that but you do need all of the essentials towels and I'll give you a whole list below I'm not gonna go through everything here because I don't want to make this video too long but you need to get all of the essentials I'll make a whole nother video on that next okay of the essentials of what you'll need 
need and how to get them very cheaply. I'm starting to make you a few videos on that. Okay, so now you've rented these apartments in your business name, you've marketed the par property, you furnished the apartment, you put a bed, you know, a couch, a sleeper sofa is always preferred. You know, you furnish the kitchen very nicely with cups, you get a coffee maker, you know, things that people need, and then you're ready to go. You list the property, okay? So another key, you wanna take professional photos. Take professional photos of your listing and use a great camera, good lighting, pay maybe $100 to have this done because the pictures are what's going to sell your unit, okay? And now let's go. So you, 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 it cost you, let's just say all in, it costs you $3,000 per unit, okay, to get started, okay? This whole thing costs you $3,000. Now mind you, you can do all of this with a credit card and I will make a video and show you exactly how to do that, how you can use your credit cards to create income for yourself, okay? Um, I know, crazy stuff, but people have done, are doing this billionaires, you know, Sarah Blakely and some of the others have all told the secret and now I'm telling it to you, like how you can even buy your own product to create in income and then get funding and then go and, and buy investments with that money. So crazy stuff, I'm gonna be telling you all about that. Keep watching, I'm gonna keep making you content like that, okay? So let's get back to this. So it costs you $3,000 all in to get each unit ready, okay? That's the one month's deposit, that's the getting the electricity turned on, you need internet in the place, you need a couple smart TVs, maybe one or two, and you need to get some furnishings and some dishes and pots and pans and things like that, okay? Now you're ready to go. So the first month, you're gonna charge about $100 a night. Let's just use that as a, a round number. You're gonna make about $100 per night because you also have cleaning fees in there, some service fees and things like that, okay? And then again, sometimes it's like $75 a night, sometimes it's $110, $120 per night. So you'll also fluctuate based on the season. We'll talk about that. But on average, $100 per night. You keep it rented, let's just say, you know, 22 nights, okay? Just to keep the numbers wrong, you keep it 22 nights, that's $2,200, okay? And then I told you the rent is 1,200, so you're making about $1,000. Let's take that down even just a little bit and just say, okay, some, I don't even know, Let's, it'll be about $1,000, okay? Because you'll actually have it rented more than 22 nights, okay? So you'll make about $1,000 a month on each of these units, okay? So times that by three units, okay? Now you're making $3,000 a month, four units, $4,000 a month, and then you can just scale this thing. And then you can increase your prices, you can become a super host, there's a lots of different things so you can get higher in the algorithm and you can really make an entire business and easily make five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month doing this, okay? And that's just off the apartments. I'm not even talking about the houses. The houses make probably about $1,500 to $2,000 a month in my model and using some of the techniques that I teach you and that my students know. So <clears throat> you're getting a house, you're renting it, and then your Airbnb being it, again, with the owner's permission, with the, it in your business's name, okay? Yes, you may personally, you personally guarantee the lease in the beginning, but it's in your business's name and that's what makes you, uh, that's why you can legally have other people there because it's your business and you can state who the occupants are and you will vet these people, okay? Because you want to do that for your own business to make sure that you're getting high quality people, they're not just coming there and just throwing parties in your place and leaving. You want families and corporate groups and marriage retreats and stuff like that and I get all of those people and they pay a lot per night, okay? Um, and it's very, very lucrative and you can do this and you can quit your job. You know, you can easily replace your income and quit your job. You know, that's always what my mission is to create women who win and we just stay at home with our kids and we make videos or we do what we want to do, okay? And we have our real estate and our properties and we shop for them and that's pretty much the life that I live that I'm trying to share with you guys. So that's how you do this. I'm gonna make more videos about this but hopefully you get the whole process. You can easily do this. Um, if you wanna know more about this and you wanna talk to me directly, there's a link below to schedule a call with me directly um, or fill out an application to fill out a call. I'm sorry, I cannot, of course, talk to every single person, but I do try to get to as many as I can, so don't hesitate to apply if you wanna talk to me more and ask me questions about all of this because it is very profitable and I want more of you guys doing it because it's some real money to be made out here and it's still a lot of opportunity and it's not a lot of us doing it, so let's get going. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.